All right, so here we are back to start modeling that main case of that watch. Um, first of all, let's uh, select the two rings that we just made and then put it on a new layer and then let's hide all this stuff here. Um, from this point on, yeah, we have a nice top image, but we don't. Ha what we don't have is a nice side image. Uh, that would be good if we had one, but we don't. So let's uh, switch to a web browser. And if you go to that Rolex website, um, like I said in the first video, um, there's a cool animation where you can see a little bit of that watch. Um, and you also see, if you go back here, you see the side of that watch. Uh, let me just wait a second here. So what you see here, <coughs> this is um, kind of like coming down here and uh, on the end down here there is some square type of geometry um, so let's take a look at some other pictures uh, you can see it here but let's let me check out another one so yeah this one so you see this is coming down here and then you have this square type of end here so yeah from this point on when we model this we have to eyeball stuff and yeah, that makes it difficult um, to me <laughs> because uh, yeah it's always good to have uh, a good reference but in this uh, part we don't have that okay so all right so let's go back to maya and let's start um, by building a reference object so i'm building here a polygon cylinder and let's um, type in the subdivisions of uh, 52 that worked good when i modeled this the first time now let's uh, go to the top view and let's scale it up to somewhere about here. So I'm looking at the background image here, so I don't. I want uh, the size as yeah uh, as the ring that we just did. So let's uh, scale this guy down and Y. Let's give it some subdivisions on the caps, something like three or four doesn't matter. Subdivisions in the height. Let's put in three okay so like I said this is only um, um, a reference object that we use so let's uh, move this guy down return on the grid and now let's create a polygon cube so we bring the cube uh, to the same size as um, that cylinder we made so we could uh, select the cylinder and take a look at the scale X here. Um, it's um, let me copy that number, hit Control C, and then take that cube and okay. So that won't work. <laughs> I think it should be uh, twice as much, almost twenty. Yeah, it doesn't have to be exactly the same size, but yeah, almost. So with that, um, let's scale that guy down in Y as well. So let's um, turn on um, two layers here just to have an idea how we have to scale that guy up. think that's we scale that down just a tiny bit more yeah okay I'm going with the with this one so let's um, hide those layers and let's work on that cube so let's insert some subdivisions on the width uh, one on the height um, and on the depth let's try something like let me go to the top view and we do something like 28 so I'm looking at, at this edge here so I'm going with uh, 28 and now we can go in and um, delete almost uh, three qu quarter of that guy so select those for faces delete those and those okay so now we have a basic shape here let's insert an edge loop 
and we want to put it right here so where this uh, thing is coming out from that main piece here in the background so we want uh, this line uh, this bit right here and now what we can do is yeah let's again delete a few faces here so select those and delete those okay so when I modeled this the first time I used uh, a different technique and I to be honest I tried um, yeah, I tried many different ways or different different techniques to to realize this, but yeah, in the end, um, yeah, there are always many or different ways to to get to the point where you want to um, where you want to be at the end. So let's select the, this edge. Hit uh, Control, right click, edge ring and split, and do the same down here. And what we do now is we create a curve. So you can go here to curves or just say here up here create a CV curve tool. Let's go to the, to the side. If I find it right here. So it should be somewhere about here. So hit V to snap the first um, the first part of that curve uh, here on that edge. And then let's uh, try something. I know that the here on the end there will be the the square type, and that's uh, sitting just a little bit below that main case, somewhere about here. So let's hit enter, and then uh, control vertex. So right click and select the control vertices, and let's uh, smooth that guy out. So that we have a nice rounded shape going down here. So let's uh, check it out from the top view, and let's um, take the the whole curve, and um, the curve automatically has its pivot in the center of the grid, and that's what we don't want. So uh, hit a D and then C, and then you can hover over that curve. If I can grab it, so again D and C, and then middle mouse and bring it here right to the. Um, start or beginning of that curve and now we move this guy um, here to with uh, holding down V and middle mouse over that point and then let's go to the top view let's check that out so you see um, if you take a closer look I mean we could uh, first go in and snap it to this point here the top the top point here V middle mouse snap it to there, and yeah, if you take a look at that, so this has to be a little bit longer, yeah. So yeah, we could go in and scale that guy out somewhere about here. Let's check it out from the side view. Yeah, and as uh, as soon as you are um, happy with the uh, with the curve, actually, it's looking good to me. So yeah, this is where you again can go in and tweak it till you die. So the cool thing about um, using this technique, let me show you that real quick. Um, take that curve, that object, and move it here to the center. A v middle mouse and bring it there. And then <coughs> what you what we do now is um, we extrude edges along that curve so with that curve selected go to edge mode select the two edges here and then say under your polygons tab say extrude okay so now you can uh, here under the input say okay we want the extrusion having uh, more division so click on that a mill mouse and yeah let's go with uh, something like seven or let's try eight I think eight is cool so with eight divisions here, um, yeah, that's coming into shape. And before I come into the 10 minutes limit here, let me pause the video and let's go on in the next one.